computer science and this is computer analysis and computer analysis and analysis some integration into social humanities research and getting out of here right now
So, as each relevant text item is marked, the document in the document it is entered into what's called an ILE database. An ILE database is the database that helps the individuals develop to take individual pieces of data and create relationships between them in an ad hoc manner um, that helps to keep us from being drawn to people in the relation of the database so that we run into massive, massive education of data and um, rather than cumbersome relationships. So it's impossible to better handle the biology small things. Um, okay, so then it's entered into an ILE database as an entity. A search is then done to the remaining document looking for equivalent data. Um, and then they are all referenced to that same entity in the data. Um, the data are data at the database and marked in the document. So, that's a brief description. This is a main window of an application of attempting to work on its territory to the The main window is constructed in such a way that we have is a, on the right hand side, we have a tree that you need to, are going to fill in with uh, data from the text document. Um, and on the other side, we have the document interface that we need to be able to buy on the same sheet so that we can work on that data and use it on the top. Um, and it's pretty quick, pretty straightforward. And so we're going to, you know, look at, we're going to look at opening the file here. And from the demo, uh, we can then go and write what we here is an HTML file, which has been produced uh, by converting a Word document to an HTML file, so we can import it into this tool. Um, the tool has progressed since this picture was taken, and now I have the tool, which will actually import PDFs, doc, Word documents, and all versions. It's, uh, that's going to be next. So, this is this document. Okay, so the file type can be a PDF, Word, HTML, rich text, or XML. Functionality is handled through something called TX Text Library, which I found. I certainly wasn't going to try to redevelop a, a word processing control and sort of going out and saying, I want, to, I, want to, uh, I want to do GIS, so I think I'll write a GIS. <laughs> um, instead, what am I going to do? I'm going to go out and get a map, the lot spatial control, and I'm going to do the two. So this is the same thing. Now, the text I'm using, uh, Dr. Stevenson's research, on um, our um, or go. Word document contains her transcription of records from the original 16th century French. Paragraphs in the document correspond to folios. Each folio contains a date, a folio number, the names of all the individuals involved, a specific court of length, the event, and the events in the patient. So, each of those and there are cases here um, where you may find that we have um, these dates they span on the folios. So, and sometimes you find you may. Well, I don't think you ever find cases where you find a folio that spans multiple events. But you almost, but you can quite often find cases where you find events that span multiple folios. So, there's a need for a certain amount of flexibility. And, you're gathering of your data and your ability to recognize what's important and what's not existing on the um, So, rather 
more than happy to enter data into a spreadsheet, which is necessary, which is necessary not only for the really GIS applications, but also for the more social, more social network programs. And uh, here's a case of 13,000 blind um, Excel spreadsheet that was created from this doc, from this set of documents. So it can give you an idea of just how basically daunting a historian's task can be to even get reasonable data. Basically, this is going to be an evangelist and a social network program. Um, also, you'll find that on the uh, names of the towns are here, the contact, the person, all the different people that are involved in the work, the contacts, so each officer and the name is this branch on the way, which is the, the chain, or actually it's the person who's in charge of the chain. Um, and these are its contacts. So you can see there's lots of duplication, because every time you get one, another one of these a premier president, you're going to end up with another whole list of contacts, another whole list of places, another whole list. And so you're going to end up with 13,000 lines of, of caps, or of spreadsheet. So that was just the uh, so wait, how is it extracting the information? It's not right now. They had to, she had to go through manually part and, and do that and create this 13,000 lines of you know, pack and go through the document 10,000 times and, and get it. So um, the ILE, this is just a kind of a side here. The ILE is based I would say it's based upon the concept of an empty uh, relationship, an empty set of relationships. So the idea is every time you find a name, you create an entity. Every time you find another name, you create another entity from one. And say, you, know, you find an event, you tag it, you create an entity from event, you find a place, you create an entity from event. And as you go along, you create these various entities. And when you're all done, you gather them all together and you create a relationship. And the relationships are then put into relationship sets. And you can uh, browse and do queries in an app document on your phone. That set, that set of data structures. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a relational database because each of these structures are independent. It's, it's hybrid of a, uh, of a network style database and a newer style structure database. And these entity and relationship components. So it gets rid of some of those problems with uh, replication of data and data relations. You have know, these sort of relations and you have multiple copies of the same data over and over again. Like I showed in the spreadsheet. And it also um, deals with concepts of uh, two latent and very constraints of the logic and data system. And um, so, how do, we, how do we do it? So this is exactly your question. But what we do, we go in and we just select some text. So you see, here I just I've selected President Boyer. And 